Hi everyone, this is Megan Bayless from The Junkway. I'm talking to you today from Trinity Beach. Congratulations all you Trinity Beaches. There is hardly any rubbish on the beach today. It's really impressive. There's a couple of bits of party rubbish. Uh, balloons, poppers, things that uh, have been left behind, sometimes by accident. But this one is not by accident. This is a popper that's been left at a party site. And a child may have dropped the popper, and that's forgivable as long as somebody picks it up. But in this one, somebody has actually buttered their cigarette out on the popper, and it has burnt through to the bottom. The cigarette butt is still in there. This is an adult, obviously, that's done this, and the adult has walked away, leaving this popper on the beach. Shame on you, is what I say. Did you know that when you do beach and street cleanups, a lot of the rubbish that's left behind can be turned into valuable resources. For example, this bag here is made from over 1,000 plastic shopping bags. Single-use plastics that would have otherwise been thrown out. I've just stripped them and I have uh, crocheted it into a bag. This is my favourite beach cleanup bag. But also bags like this. These are made from all manner of uh, food, food packaging, wasted food packaging that's just been left behind. People, consider the waste that you see on the ground as valuable resources. Use it and don't forget to post me a photo on my Facebook page, The Junkway. See you, don't forget, keep talking garbage.